113 to do today. Wow. And thank you to everybody who's ordered something from the shop. Really appreciate your support. Hope you enjoy the products. I've had rather a bumpy start to January. Sorry about the regular weekly videos being a bit out of routine at the moment. I'm struggling with the Januaries and extra woes and worries. And I'm also a bit laid up at the moment with a poorly hip. So I'm just here doing my best and showing up as I am. If life is a sea, then there's definitely some stormy waters out there right now. I'm assuring myself, because I know it to be true, that calmer times are on the way. But in the meantime, may our boats be strong, our crew skilled, and our cabins warm and cosy when we need to rest. words all year which has been a real comfort for me but it's so true to shine when you can and cocoon when you need I'm in one of my favorite woods I'm pondering on awe and wonder and how on earth you can fill your awe and wonder cup. I'm always talking about filling your cups and shining your light, so I was thinking, what are the cups that we need to fill? Because there's a few different ones, isn't there? <laughs> and I think one that maybe gets pushed to the wayside a little bit is the awe and wonder one. So I'm going to veer right here, I think, and get off the beaten track a little bit, as it were. So a little bit of context then, I'm taking a walk on my own because it's really nice to have that little bits of time, little chunks of time on, completely on our own. I think what I'm experiencing is completely normal and natural and I don't feel like I'm slipping into a depression or anything like that. I'm just feeling pretty melancholy for the past month or so and it's been slowly growing into a little bit more of a melancholic kind of state. I suppose exacerbated by outside things a little bit as well going on, because obviously life throws us a few things, doesn't it? Things that make us joyful, things that, that we can celebrate, and also the challenges go with that. So yeah, as I've been noticing some loneliness and sadness and that kind of thing, I've also been diving within on a deep quest of self-discovery there's always more things to discover i have no idea how many times i've done the deep dive and the reason i say i think it's quite a natural thing right now is because we've just passed the stop the winter solstice and christmas and the pressure of you know having a good time kind of thing that i talked about i think in the in the no friends video and also winter cocooning hibernation time a time to go within within this deep dive and I always say, you know, we find, that's where we find the treasure, the gems of wisdom, things to carry forward to help us blossom and grow. And of course, getting out in nature, moving your body, breathing some fresh air if you can, visiting your favourite trees, you know, your favourite 
plant beings, giant plant beings, showing them a bit of love and attention and appreciation for what they do. So of course it's not exactly rocket science, I know, of what brings us awe and wonder, but it does bear fruit to think about it. You know, even make a list in my journal later, just so that I've got that thing all year to remind myself, oh yeah, yeah. I've got Wellington boots on, I've got a really thick coat, I've got thermals and an umbrella, as well as the loveliest snuggly scarf I could find. Because for some reason at the moment, I really need to feel snuggled. And so I snuggle myself wherever I can. <laughs> anyway, I send you a lot of snuggles as well. I'm going to continue on my walk and I shall talk to you another day. who's placed an order. One of those, one of those, one of those. Check, check, check. So I'm definitely suffering from the Januaries. Anyone else out there suffering from the Januaries? They're a very unique thing, aren't they? And I wonder as well if our friends on the Southern Hemisphere, because obviously they've got warm weather, and I do think the weather and the light, definitely the light, has a big effect, a big impact on us. So perhaps it's less severe in the Southern Hemisphere. So if you're in the Australias or New Zealand, then let us know if that makes a difference. Because I might have to get my teleport and uh, come over for a cup of Anyway, I'm cutting out Grace because I want to do some journaling with her this morning because I feel like that's my word of the year. And also I feel like I need some grace today and I'm having a really hard time at the moment. I will be honest, everything just keeps piling up and just when I think oh no I don't want anything else something else happens and it's big stuff and yeah it's 
piling up a lot and I've got a lot of overwhelm as well because I've had a couple of weeks off for Christmas so I've come back to the studio and I'm trying to find my feet again as it were. It's a bit of that so I'm figuring Grace is going to help me work it all out this morning and I'm going to do a brain dump in my journal and I'm going to listen out and see what Grace has to say. Years ago I remember really clearly one of my most disliked phrases that somebody could say was hit the ground running and you know we used to go back after we had like school holidays when I was a teacher in my teaching days we'd go back to school and we'd sit in the staff meeting and everyone would be a little bit kind of rabbits in headlights because it was such a shock for the system to go back especially after the summer breaks that is usually around six seven weeks something like that or it was then I'm not sure if they've changed it a little bit now but even after the Christmas holidays say the two weekers coming back in especially in January in the dark it sometimes feels like instead of the it being in the ease and flow it's a little bit more of a push in the morning a little bit more adrenaline needed let's say in the morning or maybe even a little bit of coffee um and even though I've got some really quite big things on my mind and it's not really about me it's more about other people so you know obviously I'm not going to go into that on here but even though I've got that I know I'm not alone in these feelings and to be honest there is comfort in that so thanks for keeping me company even when I don't feel so bright. See what the journaling does. So in regards to creativity being a lonely process, I think that feeling of loneliness is hugely helped when being a creative is accepted and at some level it's about the world accepting your creativity. I believe that happens when you believe in yourself and one thing I need to remember is that I don't need to feel good to make good work and as I'm in the fortunate place of doing what I love full time, I'm just going to keep on going, ups and downs, ebbs and flows, times to celebrate and the times I feel I'm failing or even falling flat on my face in the mud. All the more reason to get back up, brush myself down and believe I can fly again. Hope is my answer. And knowing we can do this all for ourselves builds us up strong, resilient, capable and powerful, confident in our knowledge that we are our own safe space. And I hope we all remember that we all have everything we need inside us. It's just there waiting to be discovered or rediscovered.
I swapped my chairs around because I wanted to get comfy today. Yeah, with my journal. Anyway, I got in really early yesterday and got my head down because I knew I wouldn't get anything done if I hadn't. So I've come in a bit later today than yesterday because I wanted to give myself some grace which is my word. I won't say it's the word of the year because I don't do that. It never lasts the whole year for me. I like to update it, usually around the summertime. But for now, grace feels like my word. And so I showed myself some this morning because of the Januaries. You know, I'm thinking, you know, we're really led by light, the effects of light and the effects of weather. So of course, trying to get up when it's dark. Yeah, and I'm also noticing wanting to go to bed earlier as well as part of the whole winter cocooning thing. Now, you know, obviously for people that live in the Southern Hemisphere, I know this is completely different, the opposite kind of thing, in fact. So let me know in the comments as well. But obviously it's still January for you, even though it's kind of different weather, completely different. But it got me pondering even more, you know, about, you know, why we kind of like do this thing where we have to hit the ground running and, you know, be really busy and active and hit our goals and set new goals and new year resolutions. I'm just too settled in nature's and, and the natural cycles. And I am connected, you know, to what's going on, obviously. And the sides of our life that entice us away from you know, the nature and stuff. And I'm not saying it's all bad and we should only just, you know, live in the natural world and stuff like that. No, I'm not saying that at all. I think we have to use things like technology and make it all work for us, I think is what I'm saying. But I'm definitely not New Year resolutioning and I'm not hitting the ground running in any shape or form. I'm going to continue with my hibernation and cocooning and show a lot of grace to myself during the early part of this year. I'm going to allow myself to stay in bed longer if I need to, work with the weather and the light and my energy levels as well within that. And then within all that, I can stay in my cocoon to ponder on the sprouts I want to uh, pop up in the around the springtime. Because that's what works for me. So that's what I'm going to do. Yes. Oh, this is a good one. Sacred mirrors are all around. We are connected to other souls on this planet and every single interaction, no matter how great or tiny, can carry a message or a meaning. Just as you can only really understand the concept of light when you've understood the concept of dark, so too you can only understand who you are when you really begin to see others. We see sameness in others, we see difference, and they offer us glimpses of our own true selves through their reflection. Look for a lesson in the coming days, a sacred mirror that will refract and reverberate throughout your being and shed light on your truest form. Sometimes mirrors serve to teach us how unique we are because of the contrasting and opposite nature they unveil. When another person thinks differently, use it to help you understand your own mind. Sometimes mirrors serve to ignite something within us we had long forgotten. I wish I could do that. I would love to be that brave. I desire that charisma. Is that possible for me? What have your mirrors been showing you lately? And have you been acting on the information they are sending your way? Find solutions in these sacred reflections. I really like this card deck and it was sent to me by one of my patrons, so to Vane. Thank you so much. I use it all the time. And I really like the idea as well. I was thinking when I was driving in this morning about sometimes I get comments from people, really treasured comments from people that say things like, you know, you use Oracle decks. And even though you use or Oracle decks, which I don't really align with, because some people don't, and I know that, I really like, you know, your what you say and what you stand for. And so we don't have to agree with people. We don't have to agree with everything that we, we all say. But I think we align, don't we, with basic values like care and compassion and kindness and understanding towards each other. And so that means the world to me when I get comments like that, because it's someone that's saying, no, I don't really do that or I don't like that, but it doesn't matter to me because the underlying values shine through 
And so that's how we kind of find our tribe, isn't it? We find each other and like-minded beings. Anyway, went off on a tangent there. So so I have got some work to do today, even though I've still got the Januaries. And I've got a physio appointment as well in a little while. So I'm going to have to break off from my creativity. But it's important to take care of ourselves. And I've been putting off this appointment for quite some time. I've recently also stopped procrastinating my optician appointment and got myself some proper glasses as well. So I can actually see when I'm drawing and painting now as well, which is a bit of a bit of a new thing for me. Some of their faces are so small, it's really hard to see. Anyway, if you've been procrastinating some appointments that you really, really should go to, then go and take care of yourself because it's yeah, it's important, isn't it? I think that's one thing I am maybe resetting in January, trying to tick off those little jobs that kind of get pushed to the bottom of the list and they really, really shouldn't. They should be right at the top of the list. Yes, she says to herself. Anyway, I'm going to finish filming the art journaling video and then I can give the footage to James because he edits all the Patreon videos for me and then I edit the YouTube videos. And so, yes, because when I first started doing this, I was editing both, so two videos a week and it, it all got a bit crazy, I have to say. And this way I get more time for creativity, which is tickety-boo in my mind. I actually didn't film anymore after my treatment as I needed to rest. So I shall say goodbye here for now. Please be soft on yourself if you need to cocoon a little longer. Try to keep your lights shining bright and I'll see you really soon in the next one. Mwah. Bye for now. Fireplace, do you know how? Pass the paper, my desk is out. Who will care for the world now? So I'm definitely shuffling, I was going to say shuffling, <laughs> I mean suffering. <laughs> so this is about the third time I've tried to say this because I keep saying shuffling, but anyway.